Hello and welcome to the Mariners postgame podcast. David Sugarman and Austin Rooney here. We just got off the call for a Father's Day doubleheader and an exciting one at that. The Mariners took the first game 6 to nothing, and then ended up in a scoreless tie at the end of the second game. So they'll get the win and then they do take a point away from the tie. The standings work a little bit like hockey here in the Cape Cod Baseball League. Strange, but rules are rules. So nonetheless here, uh, a solid day for Harwich, particularly in that first game scoring six runs what are your overall thoughts from the day Austin I think overall it's a positive day when you take three out of four points I think you know 75 percent is a pretty good rate mm. so I think if you're at Harwich you, you look at this game you look at this day and you say it's been a pretty good day overall uh in the first game clearly uh Andrew Moore it's a very solid game he had a couple of base hits along with Cameron Simmons and Brad Debo uh, and Matt Beerling, especially Beerling, finally got his back going with the RBI single, along with Brad Diva, who had a couple of base hits. Uh, Cameron Simmons also drew a walk. So I think there's some definitely some positives here in, in Game 1 hitting-wise. They're also finally able to get the RBIs when they need it. They were able to get the runners in, um, able to score with runners in, in scoring position, drive guys in. And the same was not necessarily true for Game 2, though. Yeah, Game 2, we saw... Both teams put on an excellent pitching performance really all day long through both games. The pitching was fantastic for Harwood to the start from the start to the bullpen. They did not surrender a run in two games. It was 16 innings worth of baseball today, seven inning games, and then a couple extra innings in the second. It was really fantastic. And Hyannis helped put up their end of the bargain for the second game. That's absolutely right. So in the first game for Harwich, it was Tyler Baum who had a tremendous start, followed by an inning from uh, Jamie Sarah. Then in the second game for Harwich, it was also very solid with Dylan Grove, followed by Witkowski ran to a little bit of trouble, but Cole Aker bailed him out and had a tremendous outing in relief as well. So again, Aker and Grove with really great work in uh, game two for Hyannis, though, in game two. It was also pretty solid on their end as well. I mean, even in, uh, they, they, they ran into some trouble, but overall, Nick Swan, and I mean, he had a very, very so, uh, solid game uh, in relief. He uh, pitched the last four, uh, five innings of this one, I believe, mm. and it was really, really good work from him. So overall, again, good work from on both teams, uh, especially in game two pitching-wise, but again, they were unable to drive in runners with runners in scoring position, and that ended up being the reason that no one scored. Again, Hyannis had runners' uh, bases loaded on one occasion, had a first and third on another occasion with fewer than two outs, and unable to drive them in a couple of key double plays for Harwich to keep it a scoreless game. Right, and like you just mentioned, I want to allude to that no pitcher stats are pretty without a good defense unless they're going to strike them all out. And boy, was the defense on both sides good today. Had a number of key double played and some jams. That's absolutely right. There was a 5-3-2-3-2 two, two, two double play, whatever that one was. It went was. all around the diamond. It really did. And then there was the excellent play by my uh, over at third at third base as well with the unassisted double play. I think it was by Mignot. So really a tremendous game right there for... Um, uh, defensively, and also we saw Dewanye Williams Sutton making the diving play out there mm-hmm. in left field. So really a great game there defensively for Harwich, which kept the second one scoreless in the first game. They were able to drive in runs, and that's what allowed them to get take the win along with the tremendous performance from Baum as well. So Baum and Grove, excellent job starting pitching tonight. So unfortunately they can't get four out of four, but three out of four is pretty good. So I'd say overall a solid day for Harwich today. That'll do it for us. A happy Father's Day to mine and also yours. That's going to do it. The doubleheader wraps up. Harwich takes the first game 6 to nothing. Ties in the second game 0-0. Zero to zero. They take to the road tomorrow night when they take on the Falmouth Commodores at 6 p.m. first pitch. Austin and I will be on the call for that one as always. Thank you for tuning in to the Mariners post-game podcast.